Hey everyone! Today we are going to be learning about geography as we talk about the Indian Ocean. Sometimes different things such as animals, buildings, and even continents can be hidden. Have you ever heard the word continent? A continent is a large piece of land. There are seven continents on Earth. They include North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Antarctica, and Australia. Let me show you a picture of the seven continents. Okay. We've got North and South America, Antarctica, Europe, Africa, Asia, Antarctica. Do you know which continent you live on? If you said North America, you are correct. We live on North America. Not long ago, an underwater continent or a large piece of land was found at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Let me show you a picture of where the Indian Ocean is located. All right, right here in red, we see the Indian Ocean. It is located by Asia, Africa, Australia, and this area here. The continent of Mauritius existed 200 million years ago. It is believed that the continent or land of Mauritius broke off from the bigger piece of land and eventually sank to the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Right here in the Indian Ocean, you can see where the continent of Mauritius is located in this circled area. The lost continent of Mauritius was once connected to Madagascar. Different creatures, such as beetles, frogs, and chameleons, might have once lived on Mauritius. I'm sure all of you have seen frogs and lizards in where we live. So I want you to think about how you would describe a frog or lizard and what they look like. So today, the lost continent of Mauritius can be found at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Because the Indian Ocean is warm, many people enjoy swimming in it. The Indian Ocean is also home to a coral reef, turtles, angelfish, and octopuses. Let me show you some pictures of these different animals. We've got the turtles. No one. Zebrafish. An octopus. Okay. Today, explorers are not only visiting the Indian Ocean to learn more about the animals, but to discover more about the lost continent of Mauritius. Do you think you might enjoy exploring the Indian Ocean for lost continents? Why or why not? Now, if you were able to see the lost continent of Mauritius at the bottom of the Indian Ocean, what do you think it might look like? For example, what kind of underwater plants or animals might you see growing and swimming around the lost continent? Would you see fish? Do you think you'd see octopus? Do you think there'd be reefs? Okay, so we are going to move on to our activity. Today, we're going to be creating a continent. So you will be 
receiving in your bag a piece of white paper. You will be getting green and brown construction paper. You will be getting tissue paper. You will be receiving some pipe cleaners and a brown lunch bag. Now at home, I need you to gather up some crayons or markers, whichever you'd prefer, some scissors, and you should be getting a glue stick as well. Okay, what I recommend is to start with, I'm gonna take my brown and my green construction paper, and I'm gonna cut them into smaller pieces to make it more manageable to cut out um, some plants for my underwater continent. So I'm going to take my paper and I'm gonna fold it in half, like a hamburger style, and then I'm gonna fold it in half again. Then I'm gonna unfold and I'm going to cut along the line best that I can. So I want to cut this into fourths. Just like that. Now I have four pieces of paper to work with. If you need to, you may pause the video and do the same with your green piece of paper. Next, I'm going to take this tissue paper that I was given and I'm gonna cut it into smaller squares to also make this more manageable. I'm just gonna kinda of cut along the lines that are already there to cut smaller pieces that I can work with. Then we're gonna take our pipe cleaners, I've been given some of these, and we're gonna cut them in half. I recommend that you get an adult to help you because you really gotta kinda of press hard on there to get those cut. And I don't want anybody to cut a finger. So get an adult's help and get those cut in half. Okay. Got your pipe cleaners all cut out. Now, what I recommend is taking your white piece of paper. Well, hold on. We don't want a white paper yet. We are going to brainstorm ideas first because we are going to be creating the underwater continent of Mauritia and what we think it looks like using the materials provided. So brainstorm and think about some ideas about what the lost continent of Mauritia might look like. Is there gonna be coral reef growing in the area? Are there fish swimming? Do you think there's old villages from where people used to live before the continent broke off from another piece of land? So pause the video here and think about some ideas that might be on your continent. And when you're ready and you know kind of what you want to put on your paper, unpause and let's get started. So to begin, I'm gonna take my white piece of paper and I'm gonna color it blue so it looks like the ocean. So I'm just gonna take my crayon and I'm gonna color, and I don't really want it to all be colored in this time because I want you to be able to see the fish and the animals that are in there. So I'm just gonna kind of color it and make it look like the ocean, come back and forth. And that way here in a minute, I can draw some ocean life in there. And if you happen to have any of the ocean creatures left over from last week's, you may wanna color some of those in and cut them all out and glue them on. So here it is, I just colored it a little blue. Then, I think I want an octopus on here. So I'm going to draw an oval shaped head, just like that. And I'm gonna give it some tentacles. Two, three. And I know an octopus has eight tentacles, but they're just going to be hidden behind him. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my octopus. And then I know I want some fish on here. So to do a fish, I'm going to draw an oval with a triangle tail at the end, just like that. And you've got fish that may be all different sizes. So you can do a big one. So I just start at the back and I curve it around to the front. And then I made it again at the back like that. 
Then I continue it up and then I go down to give it its tail with a triangle and then back up and connect. And that way I have my fish. You can draw several fish throughout wherever you think you want them. If there's other ocean animals, sharks, sea turtles, other things like that that you would like to add on here, you can go ahead and do that too. So I would pause the video now, those ideas that you may have brainstormed that you wanna put on paper, go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna pause the video so that I can color in my sea life. Next, I'm gonna take my construction paper and my tissue paper, and I am going to make some plants out of there. Okay, so here's what my paper looks like. I've colored in my fish. So now I'm going to cut out some plants. I'm just gonna kind of make my plants have multiple leaves on them. They can be wavy. They could be straight. This is your ocean and your continent that you're creating. But I would leave a flat bottom down here. That way we can fold the bottom like this. And we're gonna put glue on this flat part. Take my glue stick and add glue right there. And I'm gonna find a spot on my continent where I want to put it. And I'm gonna put this right in front of my octopus. See? This way he's got some cover. I'm gonna push that down on the flat part and then he sticks up like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with some more brown and green and some yellow. Um, what I'm excited about with the yellow is that we can really make more of a three-dimensional plant here. And I'm gonna kind of fold him like this I'm gonna have a flat place for the base. I'm gonna fold him and then very easily, I'm going to snip downward to kind of give him moving pieces. Look out for fingers. And my younger kiddos doing this, you can go ahead and get an adult to help you, okay? And then we've got all of these little wavy pieces in here now. So what I'll do there to get that to stick is take the bottom and take my glue stick and just rub it under, over the bottom. And I'm going to find a place on here that I want to put them. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to pause and I'm going to put more pieces on my paper. Okay, now that I've taken time to take care of my plants using the tissue paper and the construction paper, I have my fish, my octopus, and my plants on here. Now I am going to use my little pipe cleaners and I'm going to kind of twist these around to look like coral. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to hold it between my thumb and my pointer finger and I'm going to wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around. My thumb just kind of holds it in place as I go, wrap it around. Then I'll slide it off my finger and I've got this spiral little coral looking piece. So I'm going to take the area that has the most surface and I'm going to put glue on that. Get up a little bit. I'm going to take that and I'm going to apply it down to my paper and add some coral to my underwater continent. You can use different colors, whatever you have. So again, I'm going to just wrap it around my finger if I can get a hold of it wrap it around and I even use my middle finger to kind of hold it in place when my thumb goes and moves. Wrap it around. Then I'll slide it off. I'm going to find the one that has the most surface area to put glue on and I will apply glue there. And then go ahead and finish this and put in your coral where you'd like it. Okay, this is what it looks like now. Uh-oh, I didn't put enough glue on that one. I will fix that. Liquid glue would work a little bit better on these, but I've got a glue stick, so that's what we're working with at this time. Hold it down, make sure it sticks maybe. Okay. Then 
we're going to take our paper bag and I'm going to use the paper bag to help me make underwater structures like a house. So I want this flat part to be the roof. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut across So that way when I open it up, it looks like a building, right? So I'm going to snip at the corner edges just so I have an area where I can fold. So right here on the corners, I'm going to snip up a little bit right here and right here so that I can fold the bag to put glue on. Now, younger kids, make sure you get a parent to help you with the scissors and cutting. Cut a little on each side, each corner. Okay, and then I'm going to take the side and I'm going to fold it. Outwards first, just to get a base, and I'm going to fold them back in. That way I can put my glue on him and he's going to stick to my paper. Fold my other side, fold them back in. Now I have this extra paper here that's going to get in the way because I folded on the long ends. So I'm going to cut that off. Level with where it's folded. That way my house sits flat on the ground. Put my glue on this fold that I've created. And then I will glue it down to make a house or a building out of this paper bag. That ended up being pretty big on my paper. Let me give it some time to dry. You can also use, if you have any extra construction paper, some of your construction paper, and I would fold this in half and create a triangle. So then you can have a triangular shape building on there as well. And again, fold the flaps so that you have somewhere to place your glue. Apply your glue along the flap. And glue it down. Alrighty. Let's see if my coral reef is going to stay on this time. My little pipe cleaner. And here we have my continent. Hello. Underwater plants, some seaweed, my corals, my fish, and my buildings. Go ahead and take a moment to pause the video if you need to finish up. If you want to add some more stuff because you don't want blanks or you think it would look better with something extra, take time now to do that. Okay, so I made a few changes. I felt like the paper bag was a little too big on my project, so I used some more construction paper to build another house. And it was a little blank on the side, so I added a few more fish. So this is my underwater continent of Marisha. So, during the activity, you created an underwater continent. Do you remember what is an underwater continent? An underwater continent is a big piece of land under the ocean. What I would like you to do when you finish your project is to take a picture of it and post it in the comments of this Facebook video. I would love to see it and describe to me or a family member or friend all the details that you included in there. Did you include coral? Did you include seaweed? What types of underwater plants and fish did you add? Tell me about your underwater continent of Mauritius. What did you add? 
Recently, the underwater continent of Mauritius was discovered at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Do you think you would rather explore hidden continents at the bottom of the Indian Ocean? Or would you rather study penguins that live in the Southern Ocean? Or why? Thanks for spending time with me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this project. I'll see you next time.